So traders, today I want to be talking to you about uh, there was there's a potential slingshot pattern happening in gold, and it's not the same thing. I've been in the last few days I've been talking about how there's a potential false breakdown before we see a big move up, but gold is creating what I call a triangle potential false breakout, and then maybe we're about to see a move, a massive move to the upside. So I'm going to share that with you right now, and uh, we're going to be looking at gold and mining stocks well too, and. Uh, just seeing what's going on through there. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, um, if you haven't done so, link in the description. I'm giving away free access to my trading course. Go get it right now guys, because I'm about to close it down. I'm about to close the free access down and I'm going to start charging it again. Now, uh, the thing that I want to share with you, first thing I want to share with you is that there's a, there's a few things, there's a few what I call slingshot patterns that happen in the markets. And why I call them slingshot patterns is because it's, it's, like, a little, it's like an elastic band. Okay, so what happens is this. Let me share this with you. So in the market, a lot of the, sometimes you'll find the market where the market bounces off support, bounces off support, bounces off support, right? Bounces off support. And then the market will flush down like that and then what will happen is that after that happens is that sometimes the market will come straight back up again. And this here is what, I, what I'm liking into the liking of a slingshot pattern slash what you see with an elastic band, right? Just think about, think about this move on an, on an elastic band type of move. And if I go over to silver here for a minute, and I'll share with you an example of what I mean on... on, on there's, now, there's two different types of levels. There's a slingshot pattern with just a horizontal support and and also potentially also a 45 degree angle false breakout so let me share with you what i mean here so false breakouts or false breakdowns followed by what i call the slingshot pattern and it's a slingshot because we generally generally we generally get pretty strong moves so here is an example of what i call a slingshot pattern but happening on a horizontal basis so you can see how we actually had a lot of support through here. A lot of support all through here. See that? See how the market just kept bouncing? But look what happened. We came straight down, and then we came straight back up again. Notice? Because this support here, this should be resistance, right? If this is strong resistance, we should hold and then rally back down. This is where we, we never know what this is going to be. But if we start to see this movement down and a move back up, then it gives us a high probability. Now, this is what we call a slingshot pattern. I call it a slingshot pattern because think about this move here being an elastic band. You pull the elastic band back, right? And then when you let when you let the elastic band go, what happens? It comes back to where? It comes back to here. But just think about what what just think about whatever just think about whatever you've actually had in the elastic band. So maybe maybe you pull the elastic band back, and maybe you shoot. Maybe you got you've got something in the elastic band. Now, when you pull it back so far, you let the elastic band go, elastic band comes back here, but guess what happens to the thing in the elastic band? We get, and what? It goes whoosh, and all the momentum takes it. This is what I call a slingshot pattern, and because it, it pulls it back and then slings it to the upside. It just works amazing, amazing. Now, that happens like that, but then also, there's many slingshot patterns that happen on a what we call a 45 degree angle like when the market's coming up through there and you'll see the market will come down it'll bounce it'll bounce it'll bounce and then it'll come down through there and it'll get back up and then we then we start to see a nice move up now this has happened a few times across the markets if we actually go look at gold here for a minute and let me just take everything let me actually take everything off the screen here with gold uh yeah let me let me actually just let me take everything off the screen here with, uh, I'm just looking at this right, all right, so I'm just looking at this point, just looking at this point right here. So let's go back to the daily chart for a minute, I'll go back to the weekly chart. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be, I'm going to go, go back in time to where, notice how we had what? Notice how we had, actually let me, let me delete that off the screen. Let me delete it off screen. Notice how we actually had this point from here to here. Notice, see that, see, that, see that point from there to there? You see that there? So that point from there to there is what? It's a, let me just extend that to the right now. That's now a support line, makes sense? And now if we also, if we draw a resistance line, notice how we've actually got a bit of a channel going on here, right? Right through there, see that through there? So 
this is now a channel. Now, what can happen sometimes is that this channel here, if I go back to my data, if I, or if I zoom, look at this here, it stays in the channel. Then look what happens. We pop out of the channel and we come, come straight back into the channel. And then we start to make a what? A really, really, really nice move from there. And if I go to my daily charts, right, you can see on the daily chart here, this is what the slingshot pattern actually looks like. So you can see here that look what happened. We actually broke out of it, out of this channel, but look what happened. We came straight back into it. And then we get what? And then we started to have a very, very, very nice move there. And generally what happens, especially when you have these 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 sort of uh, try, these sort of channels, these, these false breakouts out of the channels, is that when we get back into it, there's at least a massive high probability we're likely to run to the other side of the channel. So we can see that's happening through there. And if I just let me just take that, let me just, let me just take the, uh, let me just take all that off the screen now. Actually, let, I'll just remove all that off the screen through there. Okay, so we are we are definitely having a very big sort of long term trend line coming down through there. That's major resistance through there. But what I'm also noticing is that if I go to my actually if I go to my if I go to my weekly charts now and I bring it over a bit more, I'm starting to see something potentially forming. So we have this support level through here, and that's not really relevant to where we are right now. So I'm going to take that off the screen. And then we have, now we're gonna use this point through here and I'm gonna use, see how we have all this sort of, see where we are right now. Look at this. Look, we have a low point through here. Remember I said before about this false breakouts? Well, they call break, it's, it's breaking out, right? It's breaking out of the channel. A breakout is either up or down, guys. Uh, so we bro we, we, we're breaking out of the channel. A out could be up or down, so, right? so the false breakout. So we have this market holding here, rallies up, comes back down, for, holds it once, holds it twice, or once, twice, three times, four times. Look what happened here. We flushed down, didn't we? Completely flushed down. But look what's happening right now. Are we in the mix? Are we in the mix of creating the slingshot pattern? Now, when I say the slingshot pattern, guys, right, it takes time, right? So if I go back to my silver chart here as an example look every single one of these is one week's worth of worth of trading action so so when i say slingshot pattern it's not like tomorrow we make a massive move okay we've got to be realistic about the expectation of the moves so if i say this is creating a slingshot pattern and then it does nothing for a week it's not like it's not doing anything it's just slowly it's slowly getting ready for for quite a big move up so if i go back to my my uh, my gold chart now Look what we see. Look what's happening right now. We're developing this point through here. And if I go and have a look at my, so if I go have a look at my daily charts now, look what look what's happening. We're right at that level of support, right there. So we're potentially getting ready. This whole move down and move up. It's it's at that point, right? It's like, is it going to be a slingshot pattern, or is it going to be just a drop down and a lower high? before we start to see something like that. I don't know what that's going to be. And so we need to wait and see. But if we do start to see something like this, where it's getting back into this level through here, and especially if we can start to get back above, if we, especially if we can start to get back above this longer term level through there, then that's going to be pretty powerful. Because if I go back to my weekly charts again, then what we're seeing here is we're seeing what we're seeing a, a, a flush down out of this long-term major level of support. And now we also have this major level of resistance coming through here. So this is a massive triangle pattern. And this here, this because this is not just a channel to the upside, but it's actually a triangle pattern, what can happen sometimes, and, and I see this so many times, is that when we get the triangle pattern through here, like just say we have a triangle pattern like that there, what can happen sometimes the market does this and then it breaks down and gives you a false breakout and then and then just does that on you right cuz the market does that sometimes where the market's that's where a lot of sometimes having a breakout of a triangle pattern is not always the go go juice that's going to directly do that a lot of sometimes it'll give you a false breakout and then the other side is a big move so right now we could be creating that this point through here could be that false breakout. 
And if we do, especially if we start to get back above, once again, get back above this resistance level here, and we start to start to start to like, now this is probably going to take another few weeks to maybe to a month to generate guys, because we're looking at a weekly chart here. But the thing is, is that when we're looking at this here, the that's what we're looking for. And if we can get that, then we're probably going to be, this is, this is probably going to be the end of this down move before we see the end, before we see the next move to the upside. Makes sense? And so let me actually share with you, uh, there was another, let me share with you another example of what I call a false breakout, but breaking out of a channel. So this is the, this is the, uh, what we're looking at right now is the Dow Jones transportation average, okay? So the Dow Jones transportation average is what we're looking at here, is if I go back to my weekly charts, in fact, let me bring up, let me bring up the monthly charts here yeah, let me bring up the monthly charts because the big picture is really showing you here, right? So I was really watching this when we're going through the whole COVID, COVID situation, right? Um, and so what happened here is this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Now, remember I said before, in a false breakout, it, it, you, could get, you could get a horizontal line where we have a support, 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 false breakout, and then move. We could have a we could have a triangle pattern where we're squeezing up, squeezing up, squeezing up, break down, and then a big move, or we could get like even a channel, right? Where the market goes up, 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 up like this. We break down, get back in, and then we do, then we do that. So there's a lot of different what we call, what we call false breakouts, and that's why I say now traders, that's where like please become a master or a student of these charts. See what I'm doing here. This has nothing to do with anything but the charts itself. The charts are giving us so much information if we just learn how to read the markets properly. And that's our job, is what sort of patterns are forming, therefore, where's it likely to go? And look at this here. We have a starter point. We have support one, almost support two, support three. And then look what happened through here. It what? It flushed down really quickly. Now this remember, remember before like this is a monthly chart. This so this is thirty days worth of trading action, all right. And then look what happened. We came straight back up into it, didn't we? See that there? And what ended up happening is that if we go now and have a look at the weekly charts here, to you notice that look what happened. Not only did we break up into, not only did we actually flushed down and got straight back above it. Then we had to create a trade of support through there. I love when this happens. Because then there's a massive probability we're going to where? Remember I said before, we're likely to go to on when we get these false breakouts out, out of the channels. To, if we have a channel like this and we're doing that and then suddenly we get a breakdown, we get back up. If the channel continues up like that, there's a massive probability that we're now likely to get to at least the other side of the channel. It's, it works amazing. And look what happened. It ran, got there, got support and then ran to the other side of the channel and that's where the that's where the target was but you can see this is what was this is what what's called a call what's called a slingshot pattern right a false breakout followed by a slingshot move in the markets and it just works amazing 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 in the markets guys so that's what i'm seeing there in gold but silver right now is creating something different so let's actually switch gears a little bit Silver's getting really, really close to be to sort of in a bit of a sort of a tr a triangle pattern form a formation through here. So we are we are squeezing down, and we are definitely in sort of. You can see how we're sort of. Uh, let's actually do this here. Right, so we're definitely in that sort of arena right now. We're definitely squeezing down, and we're definitely squeezing into this into this sort of support level through here. So I wouldn't be too surprised, especially with silver, is if, because we've been holding this level here for so long, and this is a weekly chart on silver, I wouldn't be too surprised if silver did, did come down and flush down here for a little bit. And then again, we need to see whether the, the question mark then right here is, is this going to be a slingshot pattern that's forming? Or is it just going to be <laughs> that? And then continue down. We have to wait and see, right? We don't know. So we have to just take it sort of one day at a time. And so right now, we're sort of holding through here. And we have the strong moving average. We have lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. The trend is your friend until the end. So I wouldn't be too surprised if something happened with silver that caused silver to go go through a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a freak out here, right? Because again, look at this. Look, look, look where we're at right now. This major level of support. 
So if it did do that, remember guys, as I said before, if, if it does do this and we get down here and then we spend maybe a week doing that and then we start to get back above like that, that there is a major probability that this is going to be a low. But we, again, we need to see if it does do that pattern. We don't know if it's going to, but we need to wait for this pattern. If we do get this pattern, then this point here is saying, okay, now we're probably getting ready to have a big move. And the first target for me out of that would be up here. And then if if we can get, if, this is the if scenarios, okay, guys? Because when, when we're trading, we're trying to look for patterns, right? We're looking for these patterns. So the thing for me is this. If we do get something like that over the next, say, few weeks to a month, then there's a high probability that we're going to get not only a move back up towards this level through here, but we're going to start to break out above 29. And then the projection based on this triangle pattern, because whenever we see a channel like this, there's a projected channel to the upside or, or to, to, yeah, to, there's a projected channel, which is that point through there. So the point I'm trying to make here is this, is that if we get something like this out of silver coming soon, right? A bit of a freak out in silver and silver has a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a, bit of a meltdown. And it's not, it's, it's not a true breakout where the market just continues down because that's, that's the thing we never know. But if we do hold through here like this and then we start to get back above it, there's a major probability that that's going to be the final low for quite some, well, quite some time to come. And then over the next six, maybe even 12 months, we're going to probably going to make our way back up to $35. And the thing I love about this is that this here, from, from there to there is your risk, right? That is your risk. And that would be your reward target. So we're talking like, uh, what is that? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot compared to your risk. Because again, there's no guarantees of even if that does happen, there's sometimes that happens where you get this potential slingshot pattern and then suddenly it rolls over, okay? Because there's no certainties in the markets. But if we can set up to say, okay, I'm risking small on my account, if I'm risking 2% on my account here, but this is now giving me a potential 10% growth on my account, why why wouldn't I want to take that? You know what I mean? And, and away we go. So that's what I'm seeing through there, guys, across silver and across gold. And this is just, um, this is, this is, this, these patterns are just quite, these are quite, these are amazing patterns. And as you can see, if we focus less on the indicators and more on studying the charts, that the charts can really give us some good gauges on what's going on. So traders, because you're still watching right now, congratulations, you're the 3% club. 97% of the people out there don't finish watching videos or trainings like this, which is just amazing, powerful patterns as I'm sharing with you that can make you literally lots of money for the rest of your life because the market really never changes. So because you are part of the 3%, I want you to put in the comment, se comment section below Slingy for gold. Slingy for gold. I have no how I have no idea how to spell slingy, but slingy for gold, put that in there. One, that's gonna share with me that you are part of the three percent club. And secondly, it's gonna confuse everyone else who which most people don't even watch finish watching this video, so they won't even be listening to me right now. They're gonna watch the comment section and go, slingy for gold? What the hell is that? Anyway, guys, leave slingy for gold in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% uh, free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com or there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go do that right now.